Writing the Next Chapter of Humanity's Story. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 419. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Siebel, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our April 4th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is writing the next chapter of humanity's story. Because that is exactly what we're doing. And not just us, that's what we as humanity are doing. We're writing the next chapter of our story. And so the question that one community asks ourselves on a daily basis, really, is do we want to write that story sustainably or not sustainably? And what can we do to make a difference, to make that story, that next chapter that we're writing, a positive one? And one that meets the needs of all people on this planet, everywhere, and all life on this planet, better than the way that we're meeting those needs right now. How can we create a sustainable planet that will benefit us, benefit our children, our grandchildren, all people around the world, all life on this planet? How can we create a renewable, regenerative society built on stewardship and doing the right thing, living in integrity in every moment with every decision to the best of our ability to create a better world for everyone? How can we do that? And one community has come up with an answer, and we're dedicating our lives to doing that. We're creating that every single day. We're working on it. We're developing it. We're continuing to evolve it. It's everything that you see happening in the background of the video here, and so much more than that. Creating the blueprints for a sustainable civilization to be implemented and propagated across the planet to create a sustainable world within our lifetime. That's what we're doing. And you might ask, like, how is that possible? Create a sustainable world within our, within our lifetime. It seems like there's so many barriers to that. And our solution to that is to create a model that is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own that does that, that writes the next chapter of humanity's story positively, sustainably, from a perspective of humanity being stewards of this planet, working together, cooperating, collaborating globally, using teacher, teacher demonstration hubs to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, and creating a viral grassroots global movement of sustainability. People working together, cooperating, collaborating to create better lives for everyone, starting with themselves. I say in a lot of videos, it's, it could be considered selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism. Why? Because it meets the needs of the people that are participating better than their needs are being met right now while simultaneously helping other people. As a matter of fact, the more we share what we're doing, the more we open source and free share, the more we give away, the more we invite people to participate, the more successful we'll be. And the entire model is built around that idea. And we're open sourcing and free sharing that too. So we talk about open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate everything that is one community. And building one community as that prototype, as that template to teach people exactly what it looks like to write our own story, to consciously and conscientiously make the decision that we're going to write a better story for our children and their children after them that is sustainable. That we're taking responsibility for this planet that we're creating right now. We're taking responsibility for that next chapter of the story and recognizing that whether we do it consciously or unconsciously, we are still writing that next chapter. And so we're choosing to do it consciously, consciously, and saying, how can we write this to be the most amazing expression of consciousness and humanity's possibility as we, as we can? And how do we address all aspects of the living experience? So we take sustainable and what we call highest good approaches to the physical foundations of sustainability, which are obvious, food, energy, and housing. People all know about these, but we're also looking at the emotional foundations of sustainability, which could arguably be considered even more important, and taking highest good approaches to those as well. Highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to economics, and of course, highest good approaches to true earth stewardship putting it all together as an evolution of sustainability and writing that next chapter of humanity's story so it is radically sustainable and provides a more luxurious, 
a more enjoyable, a more fulfilling, a more fun and enriching life than the way that most people are living right now. And that is why we can say it's selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism because people will be living in a way that's better than how they're living right now while simultaneously helping others to do the same, helping to spread this model. And do people have to do that? Absolutely not. The whole thing is designed so that if people want to take anything that we're doing and replicate them just for personal needs, or maybe somebody wants to create a survivalist community, maybe somebody just wants to check out completely disappear, that is totally fine. But our goal, one community's goal, is to open source and free share everything that we're doing and invite people to participate, to be as transparent as we are as we possibly can, and not just open source all those individual components and the complete teacher demonstration model, but we are open sourcing the very open source process itself. And we call this open source project launch blueprinting because we're open sourcing the project launch blueprints, the foundations for launching other projects. So if somebody looks at what we're doing and says, man, that's great, but I could do it better. Great, do it better. Or, oh, you know, that's great, but I disagree with this aspect. Or I don't know about that. Or I don't want to participate in that. Or I'd rather do this. Or maybe I want to do it some other way. Fantastic. The more versions, the more iterations of what it is that we are creating that are available for people to access and participate in the more we can meet the diverse needs of humanity. You know, our idea is what we think can be the best idea we have come up with collectively as a group. Now we want to put that out to humanity and say, well, make it better. Or if you disagree with us, do a different version of it because there's so many diverse opinions and, pre and preferences in the way that people want to live, the way that people want to experience, you know, the living experience or the way that people want to make a difference in the world. So we're project launch blueprinting and open sourcing the foundations so that people can express them ways in all the different ways that they want. And we're an all volunteer team doing this. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. 100% volunteers, including myself, all working together because we want to live this way, because we want to see a world within our lifetime that meets the needs of everybody everywhere. We want to address the most challenging foundations, the most challenging uh, uh, issues of our generation and generations to come, and this is a way to do it. We want to address homelessness and lack of energy infrastructure and poverty and social injustice and equality and war and crime, all of these things. How do we do that? By working together cooperatively, collaboratively, by giving people the things that they need. Why steal when you have everything that you need? You know, how can we create environments that fully meet, fully meet the needs of everybody living there and with such abundance that they can share that with others. That's the answer, and by answering that, and one community is our answer to that, we're writing the next chapter of humanity's story, so it is a positive one. Positive one for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet, to create a better world for everybody. So that's what we're up to. Uh, stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to see uh, bullet points on each of the major components of our project. Check out our written blog if you'd like to see exactly what it is that our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week. And um, yeah, visit our website if you'd like to see details, specifics on all the open source content that we've created. And thanks. Thanks for following our progress. Thanks for watching the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, 
individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.